We are live. Let me refresh. Make sure we are set. Make sure you can see us. Make sure you can hear us. Still a little slow on YouTube side. We're good. And we are good. All right. Let me see who is here in the chat. And hopefully everything goes smooth. We're not freezing, nothing. Um, also, check out Monday's video, Monday Motivation. Uh, Pastor B went off. If you want B fired up, man. Yeah, we want to get B fired up. I mean, I'm just the hype man. I just yeah. wear the B costume. <laughs> B delivers. No, that this is not Glenn. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn folks, the bear. Glenn's got the stick. Just start smoking me. Hey, what'd you think about this? I was like, oh, don't get me started. And then uh, he just, the moment he poked me, it started already. And next thing you know, he just goes full throttle. Man. Yeah, you guys better be doing something about what we talked about. If not, man, why are you even watching? What? <laughs> here we go. Uh, here we go. Gunner, Max, the man misinformation in hand, Moe's Closet. Uh, many fresh. Eric watches YouTube. Swoopman. James. Uh, let me see. Tony. Dapper Fanatic says go Sixers. They're up big right now. We're going to talk a little NBA to oh. kick off the show. Uh, D-Bay. Brian. What up? How was sourcing today? Brian. Michael. One Kick Finder. Price Assassins. Like and Three Legs. Uh, Gang Con. Clippers curse is real. No Kawhi. We will talk about that. Southtown finds what up. Big money mo. Hawaii Rams fan. Omar. Kaiser. Shoe Monster. A.N. Abnet. Koo Kicks. Uh, Eric watches YouTube. Puma Hustler. And let me see who else. True Win. Justin West. Uh, Sal. Too Legit. Authentic Reseller. Uh, Gerald Dudley, Track Star, Baker Brand, what up? And let me keep going up and see that I didn't miss anybody. More people coming in. All right, let's get started. A couple of random topics, then we'll get into some sneaker stuff, then we'll get into uh, some of the news and updates. So let me get this thing started. And I'm a little behind. Here we go. Man. Injuries on NBA. <laughs> A lot of things going on. And Kawhi. And now Chris Paul, we got that news. People making fun of him all over Twitter, calling him CP19. <laughs> we have <laughs> Kyrie. What is going on here? And then LeBron's like, I knew this would happen. <laughs> I, I knew like, everybody's gonna get hurt. Man, Dr. LeBron, the new appointed CDC chairman or something. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the, here he comes, LeBron. And yeah, the playoffs, man, and Kawhi that monster dunk too. Oh, oh it was nasty. Oh. It's so funny though, because I was like, oh man, this gotta be the moment Kawhi yells or says something, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Went back and then just turned around. <laughs> heartless, heartless. heartless. <laughs> William Perry, what's up? Uh, anybody in the chat? I think oh, someone said go Sixers. I think Dapper Fanatic. Who else are we going for? Here's my thing. Suns, you won't, come on, give them a break. I mean, right. CP going through this. I think there's, I don't know, some little conspiracy theories and stuff. I think it's a little rigged for Suns to take this hit. And honestly, because obviously the Lakers are out, a bunch of injuries, I think they truly want Clippers and Nets, Nets. for okay. finals. Because so like only, bigger city market. Yeah, one all-star game. One all-star basketball. Yeah. That's what it's become, right? Yeah. Or or if CP uh, if Suns is gonna give it, you know, give Clippers the game, it's like oh quite out. Man, let's even it out. Take CP3 out of the equation. Yeah, let's make it even. Everybody's hurt. But it's because, honestly, if it's like, I mean, no one's in here to watch Bucks. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Like, if finals, if, if, if Bucks were there, who's going to 
PJ no. Tucker. Come on. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, I don't know. See, this reminds me of King's Lakers fiasco. Seems rigged. This is Trackstar. See, as a Lakers fan, when that was going on, I was like, ah, take that, Kings. And then later on, I was like, man, this was pretty rigged. (laughs) But I really watched it. Like, What happened in specific? Bad, like, bad calls. And to where, like, Lakers had so many free throws. Yo, yeah, I remember that. And and the, the crazy part is, like it was like Kings played so much. This was during Vladi, right? And yeah. uh and a Baby. Page, dude, Paige Stojakovic would just light up the whole place, just three pointers and everything like that. It's like I uh, was like that was that was frustrating because well my, one of my f- good friends back home was a big Lakers fan. And mm. now we're looking at the stats after, right? The next game after the next game. And no, Weber, man, like they were unstoppable. I mean, they were a complete team, to be honest, yeah, right? And like, yeah. and then, and then on the other end, it was like you know that Shaq Kobe kind of like tension was already there and boiling up, and it's like, yeah, they did. But either way, uh, let me see. LeBron focusing on new Space Jam movie. Uh, the yeah. ref rigged it for sports betting, yes, sir. Uh, let me see. C Web got robbed. Ecom lifestyle. They were so good. Good times. All yeah, right. They, the odds the odds on that game was like uh, for Suns to win was 100 to 6,500. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then now it takes CP3 out. Oh, man. Uh, all right, DJ Grabs, what up? So here we go. Ambush and the uh, McDonald's, uh, Ronald um, McDonald ones. What's going on here? So you hit on... Ambush? What size? Yo, size 12, baby. Wow, look at that. (laughs) Not even my size, but I was like, you know, I don't like this shoe, but I'm trying to go for resale. So there we go. Get out of here. That's good. Uh, What about... So I know people are uh, picking up these for some points. Um, Yeah, yeah. yeah, Just trying to get some flex points built up, but... Yeah, I actually won a few and I didn't pick it up. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, anybody pick up or anybody win and hit on ambush and or anybody gonna actually rock these let me know i mean who am i to judge if you want to rock yeah. these go ahead dude eating a mcdonald's french fry with this shoe i think it'd be cool <laughs> <laughs> this shoe was faked hype yeah Slept sure. through the ambush dunks l and l uh jake please come back to the sneaker exit next weekend so i can get a pick with you uh, Jake, I've, you know what? I was going to do a milk carton missing. Have you seen this man? Oh. Where, where is he? He's been, he's been gone. Well, at least um, somebody's seen him. Somebody. <laughs> Please come to sneaker again, right? Or something like that. So, <laughs> somebody's seen him? I don't know. Biggest piece of trash shoes. Uh, Nordstrom sold out when they opened. Clown says Lauren. Uh, let me see. Let me go back up and see. You took L's, more L's. Um, what up? Smooth sailing. Dude, so I, I, I haven't even seen anybody win the uh, ambush and sneakers, too. That was wild. Yeah, I haven't seen too many uh, W's at all. So uh, that was the latest sneaker updates. At least that's been going on there. Let's go. In, let's get into this. Oh, my. Um, I know. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, leather canvas mix, okay. Harry suede leather, <laughs> leather <laughs> canvas mix, Harry suede with leather, leather canvas mix. Again, this is a mess, man. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. This is bad. This. <laughs> This is the downfall of Off White. This is the downfall of. Sne- They're trying to kill sneakers. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> what is going on here? Well, okay. At least it's the dunk. It's not the rubber ducks or something like that. What was the other one? Rubber no, ducks. <laughs> no, the the fake dunk looking ones. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Um, oh yeah. This, one, this one's the real dunk, and it's low, right, or something like that. But man, they could have just sold one shoe and gave you like fifty extra, uh, 
shoelace and uh, hang tag or something like that. Yeah, uh, pretty much at this point. You know what? This reminds me of like remember back in the day the Adidas Pro models. Did yeah. You see the legit that you could swap the the stripes. It had mm. the Dude, like that was like so cool. So I think they're coming back with this one. But man, good job for originality, Virgil. I know. <laughs> so original. This is bad. Um, obviously, this black and silver one sticks out, and this first one with the silver swish and like yellowish yeah, soul sticks awesome. out. Yeah. All the other ones are the same, right? The same. They're pretty much the same, except for they're the same like, a suede color. or leather mix, but. Yeah, Harry Swade sounds like a, a dude street ball name or something like that. Harry Swade. <laughs> Harry Swade. <laughs> and, ah, these color. This is. Let's see. Can you copy my homework but try to change it up a bit? <laughs> <Says Yeah. Preston. laughs> That's Eddie, funny. what's up? <laughs> hey. I, but here's the thing, though. I have a feeling this is going to be overall good because it's going to drive the other off whites prices up. And then I think a lot more people is going to want off-whites because it's not <laughs> too exclusive. Yo, it, because it's not too exclusive. All right, let me put it this way. Okay, the, Travis Scott, the brown Travis Scott ones and lows, they were so limited, mm -hmm. right? But give them the Travis Scott 6s and the, tra the khaki Travis Scott 6 now everybody has them, and it's still <laughs> it's still sold out. Oh, but I think it's a different time, though. I think now we're we're milking it, we're killing it. Unbreakable Kicks also had a video that he said it just isn't as fun collecting sneakers as it was one right. you know once was. I I agree. Why? Hundred percent. Because we keep talking about it and they keep pumping out more. Here's an example. I, I, screenshot just for you guys. Look at how many other dunks are coming out. Yeah, so many. We have I can't Halloween. Even keep up. I can't even keep up. It's it's wild because like you look at like you know Foot Locker drops and everything like that, and and I keep having to wake up at like nine fifty eight now. <laughs> I hate that because I wake up at eleven or twelve in the morning, and then now I like I have like like half nightmares, and then I just wake up and just look at the clock. Oh crap! What's dropping today? That's what I feel like every day now. Every day, something every day. coming out. Yeah, and, you text, Glenn, and you text Glenn, and he's still asleep. <laughs> well, all these things coming out, I can definitely sleep well because I. It gets to a point where no one's trying. You're just like, all right, cool, another one, free ninety nine white. We just got the other one. Yeah. It didn't do that good, <laughs> and then now this candy one, which looks like the other dunk. Yeah, <laughs> camo. The corduroy and the sports specialties, light chocolate, game royal, Halloween, uh, by any means necessary. Got that one too. They're trying to be like ahead, ahead now instead of being late like last time. Yeah, this is this is getting wild. Um, yeah, all this is stupid. I agree with B, <laughs> AK Rowdy, <laughs> killing I, the I, dunks. I wish they would make certain colorways only for lows and only for highs. Now, yeah. like, they're making both for low and high. Now it's like, dude, like, I'm looking at my listings. I'm like, and then, you know, when you're talking, like, hey, you seen the black and white dunks? I'm like, which one, the high, the low, or the ones that came out early or the ones that came out later? I'm like, <laughs> wild. And, uh, and not just that, Glenn. Stores are actually getting numbers. You know, it's not like, it's okay if they produce a lot of colorway, but the production uh, number is low. Like, you know, Full Locker, each store would get 12. Or, you know, like how only House of Hoopers would get one. Now, I think the UNC dunks, like all of the, uh, all of the night, uh, Foot Lockers are at least getting 12 pairs. Yeah. And then the big Foot Lockers are getting like 72. <laughs> we're going to see a crap load of dunks. I mean, if you thought they were milking Jordan 1s. We haven't uh, this, seen anything oh, yet when no, it comes no, to dunks. No, I'm not complaining with Jordan once anymore after seeing this. I think that's what Nike's doing. Oh, you think Jordan once are watered down? Let me show you watered down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, because like Even. imagine they're a hundred dollars too, though. Like, and I think they're financially and kind of like profit-wise, I think they're doing it purpose because now they're just like 
volume game. Yeah, it is volume at this point. Yeah. Just going to sell my random dunks, double my money, buy Nike yeah. Dunk Low, uh, What the Paul, or any other sneakers that are higher in value. Dunks are done when the 50 drops. DVD, what up? And Darren, hold my milk. <laughs> exactly. And we also got this update. This is the closest Yo, you you're going to get to taxis. <laughs> they have to change it. Remember the last time we talked about? Yeah. Oh. But, okay. Do you like this better like this, though? No. I don't like I don't like this at all. Just give us taxi 12s and call it a day. I mean, I, I, there's no need for this shoe. Man, I feel like when you rock this, though, this is like the first place Jordan won. And then you rock the silver, silver place. And then the <laughs> I know the lining is different. It's supposed to be like someone oh, said really? it's supposed to be corduroy. It's supposed to be oh man, different have, hair, but you have to change it, huh? They had to change it. Uh, let me see in the chat. What do we think? Are those uh, Jordan Twelve Taxi suede? So, I mean, it's everything still the leather except for the inside. The the lining's different, and then of course we get like these gold accents. So, um, yeah, looks like no suede on the mud guard. White uh, lace swap needed as soon as possible, and that is it. So, anybody planning on getting these to rock them, or you just want to wait until Taxi 12 comes out and who knows when? Snow boots, <laughs> if that comes out. All right, next, let me see. Dish deals, what up? I'd rock them when I get them at the hash, big money mo. Yeah, definitely. Glenn, you know my those fake taxes are gonna sell out. <laughs> well, regardless, people are still gonna be buying these. So yes, how are your sales? I was telling B today, I had one sale today. <laughs> uh, yesterday, somebody was great. bought today trash. Uh, this this week is well, the last seven days is totally like I'm down like three grand compared to the last week. <laughs> Everybody that. else? AK Rowdy says slow. Let me see. 60% better than last month. Puma. Wow. Yesterday was crazy with the sales. Yesterday was good with the sales. Today, I don't know what it happened. It was. Seems like somebody got paid. People got paid. Something was going on. Uh, sales on all platforms going down. Michael, Trash, Tony, slowing down. Hustle, Westbrook. Goat is good. eBay is steady. Trackstar. Um, Oscar, ah, uh, cry me a river, B. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I gotta be honest though. This is, I know why my sales are down. Because my inventory level is down. Mm. Not summer slowdown. Yeah, no, no. No, no. Because <laughs> remember when oh, we were talking, right? Nice, when nice, was, nice. When, yeah, when we were balling, right? We had like two hundred sixty thousand listed value. Now I'm at two hundred forty thousand listed value. So of course it's gonna go down. <laughs> no snacks for B. Says Darren. Hustle B went from ten k a week to seven k a week. Hundred <laughs> percent cool cakes. Ten k is the goal. Anything beyond <laughs> that is struggle. I mean, below <laughs> that. Uh, let's see, up 64%. Sales are good. r and oh, oh, I, uh, I got an echo on your side. What happened here? I don't know. Let me see. What about now? Uh, go. I'm, I'm talking. I'm trying. Yeah. All right. Everything's good. Uh, goat is popping for me. Sell more on Goat than eBay anyways is Oscar. And let me see. Everybody's outside. I shop for shoes. Um, I had one sale today also. Overall, slow season. So... Buy some Dior ones to make up the balance. <laughs> Dapper fanatic. <laughs> hey, I like how you think Dior ones. Uh, what else? Uh, the uh, what mags. the falls? Mags. What the falls? Mags. <laughs> Air mags. Yeah, just go all out. Sales are good on eBay, but slow on Goat Authentic Reseller. Water parks opened up. Says Darren. No, yep. all yeah, all the amusement parks are open. No mask. There we go. All right, let's get into weekend releases. Speaking of Dunk Lows, Yo, to Dusty be honest, Olive. To be honest, though, I might pay resale to get this. laughing. <laughs> 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 we started off by slamming on, like, oh, look at all these dunks. Look, look at everything that's coming out. And then this one, you know what? I might pay resale for this. 
<laughs> he was try for retail, a uh, retail, huh? He was like, okay, I'm gonna take an L. I want this one. I'll pay retail. <laughs> no, they're uh, clean though, dude, dude. This reminds me so much of Ninja Turtles, though. Like little Michelangelo in here, yeah, the orange I'm green ninja, baby. All right, I, I think it's a clean shoe. Dusty yeah. Olive is very wearable. I could see Glenn rocking. Do you rock dunks, Glenn? Um, have you have, rocked dunks? I only have two dunks. <laughs> um, that's all I have. So uh, let me see. Toilet water is cut through. Oh, toilet water. Oh, Man, wow. not messing around. It looks like toilet water. Uh, Going to resell. Be 125 <laughs> in a week. Dunks are dead. Uh. <laughs> On second thought, yeah, exactly. Like and three legs. El Grong's got this. Uh, let me go back up and see those dunk low or fire smooth sailing. Need the dusty olive. I shop for shoes. I'm, see, I'm, telling, you, I'm telling you, this might be the dunks that I'm gonna, you know, daily. All right, let's see. Let's see when they come out. You know what? You'll probably win on sneakers apps. So you, <laughs> you don't have to pay. Dude, my wife is so salty because you haven't won anything so in so long. <laughs> I was like, payback time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see, Mr. Eric. What's up? Just joining in. I love my dunks. Very comfy. AK Rowdy. There we go. Oh, see. All right. Speaking of, we didn't even have a trash sound bite, do we? Uh, uh, PG five PlayStation. Like toilet, five. toilet flushing. <laughs> toilet flushing. It's like toilet water. Uh, one twenty. PlayStation PG five. Do we care? Do we not care? We don't really don't oh. care. The final Easter egg is a special PG5 logo hit that can be found on each heel tab. Well, maybe when they win. <laughs> uh, nope. Um, laugh out loud. <laughs> Let me see. Nope. Super disappointing. Reminds me of the Monarchs. I don't know. Just PGs. They just really went... Not that they were ever like that great, but yeah, the first PG was the only great one. Then after yeah. that, every, the first PG PlayStation. And that was it. It just went down from there. Uh, making ten dollar profit. What am I supposed to do? With Twelve dollar profit. I got kids. Anything Clippers related doesn't do well. <laughs> Activate hustle mode. <laughs> Next, undefeated. Dunk Yo. versus uh, Air Force One. Dude, I mean, to be honest though, like the Air Force ones was getting really played out, but dunks were just played out worse. Without sure. dunks, we'd be filled with a lot of Air Force too. <laughs> it comes out on Friday, undefeated, undefeated.com. And see in the chat, what do we think? We can't even, they didn't really have any other photos. At least I could see. Dunks are better, SA. Let's um, see. It's a cutthroat. It's a clean shoe. I, I think it's a clean shoe. Next. Yeezy time. So we're not getting any of these. I checked some of the, uh, at least my mall's not getting of them. Uh, do you care for these? No, but. 220. Resale is going to be good because it's the first kind of like colorway and it's all white. Mono ice. Mist. Mono mist. Uh, see what does the chat say? These are clean. Uh, do we, let's see. Two twenty comes out on Friday. I'll try to flip Puma Hustler. Yeezy doing better than Dunks now. A N. Are Yeezys back? The slides. People rocking the slides. Oh man. <laughs> Crossy. Yeah. It's good for resell. I hope. Just all right. Picking up a pair on Friday. Southtown finds. Let me see. I like them. Flip them. Base size only. That too. Always. Five Always. and five and a half, baby. Yeah. Next. Oh. Union. Jordan 4. Tint Dude, that, and trail. The mustard colorway, though. This one? Like, I don't know. Like, what do you think about them? The mustard one. I don't like any one of these. I, I mean... Even the other ones that they had, I didn't really like. But dude, the one on the right, like the the one that has the hustler hacks in gray, mm -hmm. I think it's clean. Okay, like some things a clean yeah, shoe. I, I think it's a clean shoe. 
Yes. Not feeling these personally. So but, many else come in my way. But so I think the one on the, I, I'm, I think I'm confused. The one on the left is the only is union exclusive only, right? Am I, uh, am I, let me see. Let me see what this says. Does it even say? Yeah. Um, exclusively dropped through unions retail channels. Okay. Because one will be G more not GR. One will mm. be more available than the other. Cause like just like the old drop, like the black was more available. Yeah. Then the other call it than the guava. Let me see. Mustard ones are booty. Says Preston. I agree with B. Gray pair on the right is nice. I like yeah. these better than the original. I like ugly shoes. A N. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you're honest. <laughs> Let me see. Looks like someone peed on him. El Gronk. Um, Jordan 4 is a must cop. I want the Mardi Gras color one. New Orleans. Let me see. Um, tired of collars. SA. Honestly, I think I'm the only person who doesn't enjoy any of the Nike Union. And it's a no-go. So there we go. They have spoken. Uh, let's see what they sell for. 225 on Sunday. June 20th. Sunday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what it said. Uh, Father's Day. You, there's going to be drop every day. Father's Day drop. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not done. So no, I guess they're finally, finally coming out on Monday. Finally. Miami Knights, 180 for the LeBron Low. Let's see. Did you say you're going to get them or no? I wanted them. I wanted them, but. Man, I keep saying I want more shoes, but that, <laughs> that's bad for the business, Glenn. You it gotta is. remind me that. But but I man, I feel like a lot of like the older retro LeBrons and Kobe's is like I feel like I just want them because when they were out back in the day, I never we never had the money to buy them, right? Yeah. It's like it's always gonna be that struggle. Um but but I, I feel like 180 is a lot now. I mean, it's too much. For me. <laughs> like 150, yeah, you know, because now you got to think about taxes. It's 200 bucks right there. And 79 at Burlington. 100. <laughs> percent This might make it to the Nike outlet though, because uh, right see. now they're like retail on StockX. Yeah, outlet Hashwall bound SA. You know what? I'm actually buy one and then return a dollar and buy it with discount. <laughs> <laughs> See, now we're thinking. Yeah, just or, like Big Money <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait for uh, Big Money Mo and then see if he gets them. Yeah. And what size? <laughs> Price of sass, you know, size is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because you want a $150,000 car. <laughs> <laughs> well, what all the Griffey stuff that came out? Remember we talked about those a couple of weeks back? Yeah. They're, they're sitting. all out now. They're Not sitting. Did anybody pick up anything? Vapor Max or... Uh, I don't think they're officially out yet, though. Oh, they're not. At least not on Foot Locker. Oh, but okay. I've heard some finish line and like some other stores have started putting them out already. Foot Locker Hollywood had them for a couple of weeks. People didn't get them even though they were early. Coo kicks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just so many drops. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. All right, we are done. Let's get into the power rankings. We need to hit that like button. Baker brand doesn't have to tell you. Only a 37 thumbs up. What? Way too low. Out of 45? Oh, uh, 143 watching? Yeah, way too low. Um, yeah, Baker brand, here we go. Only 36 likes. Hit, hit that like button. Uh, Griffey stuff is on the app now, smooth sailing. Burlington has been on fire for me. S.A. Man. All right. Let's get started. Man, it has been rough. Marshalls, two stars. Autograph jerseys, six hundred dollars. All right, let's see what the chat says about this. What do you think about? You're a jersey guy. What do you think about stuff like this? You think it's it's worth it? I mean, to buy. I mean, not thinking about flipping it too, or maybe is there places to flip this too? Smash or pass in the chat. Personally, I know nothing about baseball. <laughs> yeah. So that I can't really give any input. I think the frame, the framing with the logos, everything looks good there. I don't know 
I mean, the jersey looks good with the patch and everything. I just don't know everything else about it and see I, what they're it's selling. It's actually for. authenticated too. Yeah, and has that has so, that by so who though? Mom, by who? I know. I oh, it's. I think it's PSA because it's the same uh, sticker. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I just assume it was PSA. Mm. So you could be right, but okay. um, um, but our Marshalls has a. <laughs> Who's the guy? Joe Burrow. <laughs> oh, Joey yeah, B. Man, they're already discounting him out already. Yeah, because they don't build up that offensive line. Five ninety nine. <laughs> Six hundred bucks, Joey B. Uh, still could be on fake jersey, just an authentic auto. So that's so Denver fanatic. I have seen that where like they do blanks, like blank jerseys on the front, and then they just have like a very simple back, and they have it autographed. I mean, you want the real deal, authentic yeah. autograph jersey. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them don't do that because you're not going to take apart this frame. You're right. So that's the thing. I don't know what the front looks like. Tags, retail tags. Was it uh, authentic it's jersey? probably not know. because I think it looks like these jerseys are made for just framing. Yeah, that's what I would they, think. Yeah, because they look weird. Look at that. Like, it's so wide and the sleeves are so short. Yeah, I mean, it could be. Let's see what – uh. Authentic jerseys are two hundred fifty dollars retail well, for sure. Um, let me see, real collector want want to frame it themselves for the personal. If you're a Dodgers fan, it's good. Not enough in there for much resale though. Ecom lifestyle. Let me see. I saw an Emmett jersey signed four ninety five, selling for two hundred nine. Best offer, <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Oh man! All right, other date reseller says pass. Okay. I guess it's just good for the uh, uh, kind of like you know a uh, wall piece or something like that. Yeah, very true. Uh, this is a TJ Maxx on the watches, hundred and sixty bucks. Flip the script. Also got Flight Legacy Lakers color, thirty five dollars. Emily and Son Project Rock shorts, Iron Paradise, Cali reseller, and more of the. Polo jackets for one five resells. Man, that 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 uh line of polo didn't do well, huh? I think it was during the pandemic or something like that. Yeah, it could have been. Um money to be made, I think, but I think more people are finding them. Um, so we'll see. I uh, saw Mike Trout signed TJ Maxx last year, a thousand bucks from Game Con. More of the cleats, more of the Jordan 1, Mamo Dog, eBay Poshman, Clayton Resells, and High Ball Hustle. So remember, we got to stay patient on these. There's a ton of them out there. Bobby Hustles and Eddie with the Iversons. A ton of them. And that's a nice little, uh, what is this, 12 pairs? Uh, yep. Eddie, 12 pairs. Mamo Dog and Radio out here with Prada, two hundred dollars. Prada, I don't know how they have this, and then like down the aisle, there's like RBX. Yep. Like Marshalls is just off the wall, and then we got signed jerseys, and then we have just random stuff. Okay, I, I actually just checked my listing see if I still have one of those because now the price is gonna tank. For what? The Reeboks. The oh. answer. Oh, okay. What is it at right now? How many listings? No, I'm out. No, I was just checking if I have them. Oh, okay. Are those Iverson's kid sizes is what they're asking? No, no they're, they're, men's. they're men's. Yeah. Um, so it looks like Eddie, nine and a half, nine, ten and a half, and eleven and a half were the sizes that uh, that he picked up. Yeah, men's, I believe, Israel. Let me see. My Marshall still has six men's shoes. <laughs> Uh, let me no, go back. I, just, I just went in in my marsh yesterday, and then it's still the same. They did have a lot of uh, vapor sharks and orache sharks or menace sharks, something like that. Mm. Trash. <laughs> Next. Oh, we're done. That's it for oh, Marshalls. Oh, is it? Well deserved two stars. Okay, so two and a half, Ross. They're slightly better. You know what? I maybe have could have done three, but to me, I just feel like they have a lot of work to be done. I mean, since last couple of weeks have been pretty rough. Leva and Chai Sneaker Deals. Anybody picking up Star Wars MLB hats? 
mm. in the chat. Smash yeah. or pass. And that's a weird crossover, like nerds become sporty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they had, I know they had Indians, they had, I didn't see Dodgers or Yankees. I think I saw, I did see this Mets one out there, and I believe they're 12 99 I think. Let me see, Star Wars hats, pass. Um, my Ross has a ton of them. No. This is 1890. Ross picking up a lot of tech pack clothing in my area. The plug, there we go. Royals. Uh, I saw salute to service hats at Ross. Cardinals. Uh, let me see what up. Extra grand. Let's see at 12.99. I saw Pittsburgh. Eight hats. Five Mets. Three Pirates. Uh, picked up Pittsburgh Pirates today. And I uh, left the Mets, says Richard. Yeah, just, just save your money and don't mind this. <laughs> uh, any Rockies? Ray, I did not see Rockies. I think I, mostly I saw Mets. Quite a bit of Mets for some reason. Uh, let me see Himalayan Sun. We got some of the shocks. And Chai Sticker deals with the Curries. New Curry, since it has his logo on the back. Jersey time. Richard, more Westbrook, easy money on the vapor knit. And we have some of the soccer jerseys, funky finds, lo fi sneakers, a eh? nets just in time. Right. Different color, too, of course, with the uh, like yellow or gold, whatever that is. Hunt collections with some of the Cavs LeBron jerseys. They're coming back. That's so actually good money. money. That's it actually is good money. money. Better than his Lakers. <laughs> More Westbrook. Wow. They just clearance them out at the same time, huh? Well, the, the, the crazy thing is there's Swingman and there's Vapor Knit. Mm -hmm. So you have to double check to see. I mean, regardless, the Swingman one might, you know, you're going to make a lot less on it compared to the Vapor Knit. Vapor Knit, people out here making 200, 225, yeah, 250. Yeah. Yeah. Good money. money. Yeah. So. And how depends. much are they? Like 20 bucks? Um, I don't know. How much are they? In the chat, let me know. I haven't found them, so. Five Westbrook Vapor Knits for Richard. Not missing around. Man. Leva. Also more Westbrook and Funky Finds. Two of those and the Biggie Nets. They're 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Ah, you can't lose on that. Uh, Preston Retrospective in Israel all say $30. All right. Next. Croc Time. Brian. Ben Cook. Smash or pass on the Crocs? Are we leaving them? Or are we taking them? Personally, I cannot find myself to buy Crocs. I can't. I won't. But for you, maybe you're picking them up. Maybe they're selling well. I don't know. That's your call. UNC shorts. Jordan. Not bad. Man, also, I'll, uh, Converse. I'll, I'd save my money and then go to the Nike outlet or... Yeah, just don't buy Crocs. Dapper Fanatic Crocs, less than 20 yes. $30, no. RJ well, Funky it, Finds, pass on Crocs. Because how much How much do they sell for? Like what, 30 40 I don't know. I haven't looked them up. I haven't done anything. Oh, Leaving man. Crocs, extra grands. Buying all Crocs, Southtown Finds. Big Money Mo, pass. Picked up two of the Lavender Crocs. Nick, Sue Huskins, pass. Let me see. Shipping ain't cheap to ship Crocs. Brilliant. You might, have, you might have to set, uh, put it on like a poly bag because it might be pretty uh, light to ship. $15 on the Crocs. Sell at 40 William Perry. Uh, the oh. platforms sell for 90 bucks. One kick finder. Uh, also depends on the color. So there's different factors now that are coming into play. Some Crocs doing like bacon and egg, for example, $60 plus, Jimmy. So, like I said, different factors that are now coming into play. Next, talk about jerseys. The Sharks, I did pick up. That was a while back. If they're back, I'm happy for it. Funky finds, hey, Ooh. the league MVP. That's, that's a good design, too. I haven't seen that a lot. Though. Yeah, I haven't seen this one. And then we got some of the MVP jerseys. 
Curry and LeBron. Wow. Browntown finds Don Alpha Cleat. Hmm. Interesting in this white jersey. I know. That is um thirty dollars. I know they are selling well. Great they money are? to be made. Yeah, they are. Okay. Personally, I probably would have really walked uh, rocked this whole white jersey thing though. I know you're gonna get it dirty real quick too. Yep. Um, but I guess I like what jersey would I buy? The snakeskin looking Kobe ones. Those yeah. Laker, I mean the black one, that one's yeah. obviously a classic, but uh let me see what they say. Lakers fire zapatos, what's up? Um let me see yesterday, Westbrook and the Yoke. It's same thing from uh Browntown Fines. Chris online, what's up? Wear clear plastic over it. <laughs> Brilliant dominance. <laughs> uh LeBron jerseys are at the outlets to plug. Well, especially now since he's changing his number to number six. So wow. <laughs> now we're gonna see more of them out there. All right. We got Ultra Boost cleats done off a of cleat and gill steals and deals 20 bucks and this is a unreleased texas a&m edition i don't know about the white one though city kick chicago they're still out there even got the hang tag on there a trap al bundy ultra boost and even some of the jordan 10 cleats 20 dollars let me see Crybaby James Ross clothing on fire right now. Says Tony, I got a pair of uh, Sherpa Nike pants today too. And let's see, Don always finds the grails. Next, Phantoms, $25. Clayton resells, Mile High Hustle, Don Alpha Cleat again. And of course, the Jordan Cleats also out there, $20. Flipping kicks, Phantom GT. Blue one is dope. If I played soccer, would you rock? <laughs> well, what are we talking about here? <laughs> We're not going to play soccer. Did you see, um, what's his name with uh, the Coca Cola? He like moved oh, it out of the frame. No, no. <laughs> oh, man, that was classic. Tell people to drink I, water. I don't know how true was that, but they said the value, value of Coca Cola dropped. That's what it it did. <laughs> Don't diss soccer. Eric watches YouTube. No, we're not. We just can't play soccer. <laughs> I'm not going to diss it. I just, I can't play. So be, that's all I can say. Goal, we'd be goalkeepers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blue is fire. Dropped four billion, AK Rowdy. Oh, God. I did see that. Yeah, like half a point. 1.6%. <laughs> all right. We're not done, though. Rescued That's from the so RBX weird. outlet. Richard as well. Man, Bobby those Hustles. Right, those right there are fire. All of them fire. Yeah. You see the cleats guy. Yeah, money, I think the one on the bucks. bottom, the black one is SG too. That's rare. Yeah, it is. You can see it on there. Yeah. Uh, let me see. You can do soccer all you want. Coo kicks. What about these cleats? Anybody find any of these out there in the wild? $25 each. Hopefully we do see more. The pink ones too. Yeah, the pink ones. Money. Uh, what do you guys think about this amount of resellers? I mean, the market for even mall shoes are in the 400 plus listed. Dunks are even dropping around 150. Yeah. Brilliant dominance. Yeah, I actually uh, looked it up as far as, I mean, the, st the dunks that I bought. I mean, if you, you have to do the research as far as for sizing. Because, and also, do you have to be careful because everybody is listing on the men's category now, even if it's grade school. So it's kind of, uh, research is kind of skewed right now. So you got to be able to filter more into it. Um, but so far, like the dunks aren't as bad. If you filter through by size. True. But I guess we have to look at, you know, the, the market for that shoe, because since the next colorway is coming out the next week and then the next week, <clears throat> we just don't know where that hype is anymore. It's like some people are just like, man, I want the next one. I want the next one. And they're passing. So 
just depends where you're going to put your money at. A lot of these buyers. Yeah. Next. We are done, and now we're on Burlington time. Three stars is what I'm giving him. Carmelo, $70. Also got the Kyries at $60. AK Rowdy, Bam 24 Kicks. A little mix of the press and hoodies. I know people have been uh, picking those up. And I think Brian also picked one up recently. Let's see, 2021 Year of the Dunks. Zapatos. Flip the script. We have the Pegasus Shield. Selling for about $185. $80 on these. Flip the script. Great money. Hyper Dunk. I think we talked about that one last time. Hyper Dunk flying it. And some of the other Pegasus, man, picked up like five of them in oh. red. Price Assassins, Funky Finds, we got the 97s, Metcons, and more. Willy Will, 95s. And we'll talk more about this coming up. I know you found more of them. 24 Kicks, some of the football, MC Incorporated. See, look at that. Island Green Dunk, size 5Y, making their way to Burlington. So hopefully this is a good sign. Clean color, too. Yeah. I like that. Turbo greens. Turbo. <laughs> and flip the script. Also in here. So Burlington might be heating up. Let me see what the chat says. Uh, but a bunch of the personal. Uh, Burlington got my hopes up until I got home. Realized the right shoe was a 10 and left shoe was a 9. Let me see. All white mid cell. Next. Willie Will again. 365 deals. The 95s comps looking good. Bobby Hustles complete with box nice. on the foamies. 40 bucks. They are kids. And more of these Eagles Vapor Max out there. It's our official. Two pairs. Three pairs. Let's see what the chat says. Uh, come on, stores. Give me Northern Cali some love. Trackstar foams, yes, for kids and with box. Someone's got the hookup. Keep going. Hunt collections, Willy Will, 270s, Vapor Max Plus, Just Fly. We got the Fly Knit and Soul Shifter and four pairs, Vapor Max Fly Knit. Hopefully more of them. And we are seeing a lot of older models. I mean, yeah, like the two seventies. We got the fly knits in here. So hopefully it's good signs. Just fly. Nice pick up there. Burlington definitely taxing lately. Exactly. Um, I can't believe I sourced Ross, et cetera, for two years, Mr. Eric. Um, I cut a rare restock and have a bunch of tennis vapors. Been dry otherwise. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> On the foamies, MC taxing on some models. Zoom fly three for eighty bucks. Resell freak, yeah, definitely taxing on some of these. We're not done. Don Alpha Cleat again. Jordan ones. Willie Will, ninety sevens. A Vapor Max and more. District deals that Raptors cleats. And the sneaker finds 12, a bunch of phantoms. Wow. The uh, white, black, and pink, and the black and pink. Cartful on there. All the good stuff now is 80 bucks, says Tony. Let me see. Next. Is that is it? So that's it for the finds. Man. Man. Power rankings this week. Burlington on top. Um, they are heating up. But not a whole lot of tags. Uh, Willie Will, the main guys, we already know. Ross, two and a half. Marshalls at two. Nick, Jan, exactly. Never happy to see the generic $80 tags. So, oh yeah. And a uh, <laughs> quick thing. So remember I told you guys how uh, the, uh, the older guy at my Burlington, how he's just chilling? Waits all day. For them to restock. All right. So yesterday, I was like, let's see if he's here. Sure enough, he was there. He has the nice bench he's going to sit on, chill. He's on his phone. 
he didn't realize I was there because he was just on just laser vision on his phone. And he then was like, he was like this. And I was like, what is this guy watching? What is he looking at? So the speakers were on, like on the phone, are like pretty loud. It was like loud music. And I was like, what is he watching? And he's like, dun, 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 dun. and I was like, what is that? And I look, he's watching TikTok honeys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what a way to just pass by the time at Burlington until you hit that wow. restock. TikTok so, honeys with their 50 seconds of fame or 30 seconds of fame, huh? Yeah, he was just on to the next, on to the next, just waiting for the Yeah, because TikTok just feeds you. Yeah, feeds you <laughs> just feeding the beast. Yeah, wow. All right, let me see in the chat what's going on here. Uh, only 67 likes, hit that like button. Baker Brand, appreciate that. Uh, let me see, what do Burlington, U.S. National Parks, Walmart have in common, all full of campers, zapatos? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 and laugh out loud for uh, let me see, Glenn is salty, <laughs> big money mo. <laughs> let me see, at Ross right now, just found a jersey. There we go, Anna. What jersey Hi. did you find? I thought you were gonna say he was watching the real Jake. <laughs> hey, Jake is supposed to a new video. We can't watch yeah. it. We need to see new content. Yeah, can't watch some of this old stuff. I am lazy. Let um, me see, I got myself a job at Ross. There we go. That's nice. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Jersey plug. And then, oh, here we got Dirty Old Man. <laughs> Jake retired. We got to talk to this guy. Where is he? We should bring him on for a special live and see what he's been doing. Yeah, we got to do that. Uh, cat, catching up with Jake. Yeah, right? I did like talk to him. Catching up too with the Kardashian, something like that. <laughs> catching up with, up with Jake. Keeping up with Jake. Jake sold all of his Dogecoin to get. All right, giveaway time. Who's ready? I need the correct answer. It's going to be something about Vapor Max. <laughs> all right, I got my answer here. Oh. How many are listed on eBay? Vapor Knit only. I don't want that Swingman stuff. All right, we're getting answers in. Uh, B, you have an answer? I would say 50. 50. Okay, let me see. Um, Koo kicks very close. Nathan, extremely close. Actually, you guys are both 1 away. So, Omar, we have a winner already. Man, I'm just looking at it. Everybody's undercutting everybody. What are they at now? 170, 160, no. 164, 160. Somebody's selling it for one thirty. <laughs> Who's undercutting Rashard? Oh, I don't like that. Man, that's wild. Omar, you have one. How many? Correct answer: thirty-four. At least when I checked yesterday. Yeah. How many? Because like there's thirty-five now. Oh, okay. <laughs> thirty-four was the correct answer. Um. So what do you say they're down to? What one thirty? Yeah. Come on now. So congrats there. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Remove. All right. Anything? Uh, anything you want to talk about before we go? I don't want you to get demonetized. Somebody stole my pick on a post, says Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're down to? Yep. Man. Uh, let me see. Damn, off by one. Off by two, Nathan. Um, hopefully I can find a jersey. Hopefully some some jerseys out there. I've just been seeing the same stuff. The same Liverpool soccer. Um, the same... Uh, what else did I find? The same Fanatics jerseys. Nothing new there. It's always that same Rockets one and that same Oklahoma City same ones um let's see if the chat says any questions in the chat yeah let's just answer questions <laughs> um i've been seeing a ton of b's pictures none of his listings oh stealing his photos oh wow that's wild that's gonna get my wife 
angry. Man. Yeah, she gets. She takes shit personally. Yeah. Like Jordan. <laughs> and I took that personally. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to calm her down. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I think I stole your pick, Richard, and sold it the same day for 170. Deformity shot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you owe Richard them bucks or something. You owe Richard some of that some of that money. Yeah. What's Richard's cut on that? Yeah. Let me see. What next question? Um, undercutting stealing picks. Um, how did you and the B meet? That, well, we met for a, a meetup that they had in what was that thing called? Reseller for Rally. Reseller Rally is what it was called. Um, that was a Chicago. Any word on Nike? Thirty percent discount coming. Ooh. You'd have to ask uh, Big Money Mo. Yep. Big Money Mo. Any Nike sale coming? He will tell you. They've been doing a lot of uh, thirty on clearance though. Clothing, I mean. Oh, clothing. Yeah, clothing. Let's see. B, take, B takes good picks. Yeah. Um, is the Burlington new high prices going to be the new norm? I don't think it's high pricing. I think um, they've been just getting higher end shoes because they're always been 80 bucks. Like the Jordans are always 80. Uh, Vapor Max Flyknit was 80 before. I know the Flyknit was oh no no the vapor max plus was 69 right like the philly eagles yeah yeah the yeah. philly eagles is like 59 or 69 now yeah. if if all of a sudden cleats are 80 dollars yeah, yeah then we'd know something is going on there but yeah I, yeah brilliant dominance yeah 30 percent on yoga that's true uh actually just looking at the gear so i might take up yoga now <laughs> They look cool. <laughs> Baker Brand, five bucks. Great show, Mr. Hacks, Mr. B. Appreciate you guys. Enjoyed the Monday live as well. Um, so thanks yeah, for you that. Guys, you guys need to be uh, trying to buy off-season items. Um, you know, for those who are still watching, my tip is you need to buy some high-end jackets right now. Because they're dirt cheap at the outlets. Dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What do Big Money Mo say? Uh, Nike sale. That's all he said. Oh no, let me go back up. Oh, Nike discounts are done for a while, says Big Money Mo. Yeah, duh. Uh, let me go back up and see what else. I know there's more questions in here. What is your budget for football tickets? <laughs> Reset has got them prices over 1k for lower bowl. They were always pretty high, even when they first came out. Well, also, it didn't help Super Bowl champs. Um, so that automatically, you know, they're going to be higher. So, I think I did see the only time, only Dolphins game I went to, Dolphins Cowboys in Dallas on Thanksgiving, and I paid five hundred, I think, for that for that seat. Is it decent? It was pretty good. Okay, I think I was like row three or something. I guess I guess our budget is what five hundred too. Zapatos, so I thought you were gonna get us a, a suite. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. What are we talking we about? Get, we gotta get a suite, man, where they had like unlimited food and stuff like that. So when you have an item listed on eBay and go, how do you prevent selling both while sleep on different platforms? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's why. The well, yeah, you really well. Also, too, you have to think. Uh, is is I sleep pretty late, and also you have to look at time zone. At the end of the day, some people sleep too, or most people. <laughs> <laughs> most people sleep. Um, but uh, but that's 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 really you know you have eight hour window. I just it try happens. to like remove it as soon as it sells and just yeah. And also to what I've been doing, if there's multiple items, I only list one on Goat and one on stop uh, one on eBay. Mm. Uh, any out hustle trips planned? Um, not that we know of yet. I know last year we didn't go anywhere. We didn't do anything. This year we would want to. We talked about the Florida thing. If we did go, that's all we really know for now. And even then, we haven't done anything as far as like ideas on actually doing meetups or 
or events or something like that. So I know it's been rough. We're hanging in there. <laughs> Lucky on <had> three legs. <laughs> what did Hot take from me. Most people sleep. <laughs> Hot take hey, yo, we got to patent that thing because that's actually deep. <laughs> uh, do y'all ever get tired of sourcing? Says no, like, that's the best part. That's the best part. <laughs> you get tired of listing? Taking photos? Shipping? No. What? what here's a question for the chat. What? I guess what are you tired of uh, the most in the business? Is there anything that drags you down that you hate? Out of that whole thing. Mile High Hustle, what's up? You know Listing what? sucks, says Oscar. Bro. Shipping is okay. All right. Listing sucks if you have trash, if you're listing trash inventory. <laughs> because Sourcing is the best. Think about it, right? In your wildest dreams, if you could pick out all the good stuff, and only list the good stuff, you would love listing. <laughs> problem is, you don't have a listing problem. You have a buying problem. You're buying dookie items. Mm -hmm. That's why it's it's we it's weakening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kryptonite trying to, you know, it's like Superman trying to take a photo of like a dookie shoe. That's like that's why me and Glenn don't buy crocs. That's our kryptonite. Like, why would you try and waste five minutes, 10 minutes listing Crocs? Well, I'd rather spend that 15 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour looking for better inventory. Don't get B started because then we're getting a started. whole thing. It might be another hour. <laughs> a whole hour for this live show. And you're going to get them talking about, you know, mids and stuff. I would rather buy this than buy a pair of Jordan mids. I said it. <laughs> uh, let's see the next. Someone said, that's a good question here. Oh, my high said he hates uh, authentication, right? 80%. That's what he said. Uh, let me see. No Crocs and handbags track star. Um, where does the hype go next after Jordan 1 and Dunk's fate? I think 4s are still going strong. Like 4s going strong. I mean, 11s are still going strong. 11s will never die out. Yeah, 11s will never die. So we still have the the 11s coming out this year. I think that will still go strong. Um, there we go. Mile High said it sold, it sold three pairs of Crocs tonight. Straight hey, from the man. If you're happy listing Crocs, more power to you. Right? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, see. my wife lists. 100% my wife lists. Because we have division of labor here. <laughs> Uh, preacher brown brother be like on Monday, <laughs> says Juan. <laughs> uh, time management is key. Let me go back up. Let's skip like a whole bunch uh, of stuff. listing on on a computer all the time. Um, see, let me go back up and see, bro. You burn out in half a year. Listing is the most boring part. Brilliant dominance. Uh, photos, taking photos, hate taking photos. I think taking photos definitely sucks on like certain clothing. Yeah, clothing when you have clothes. um shoes. It's uh, shoes, shoes is so easy. You can easy. Knock that out quick, dude. Like with even like with you know like because at the end of the day you're gonna have your own setup, right? Well, once you configure that photo station to your liking, it's easy. Tired of dumb questions from buyers. <laughs> Tis Chico says. I just don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> I don't respond. <laughs> I just say, check listing, read description. How many questions of what's the lowest you'll take do you get per day? That's the question I should ask for the chat. How many? What's the I lowest? Would, what's the lowest? What's the lowest? I would say two a day. Two a day on average? Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Because like I feel like I have one within the day, and I always have one when I wake up. Mm, for That's sure. That's how I test my mental strength. When I wake up, and then I look at that phone and the messages, and then when when there's a lot of dumb question, and I still get up smiling and be like, "Man, this ain't bad." <laughs> that that's mental strength right there. But if I get if I get bothered doing that. Man, better get my resume ready and then go face a boss. 
I would say two to three a day, just fire deals. Um, I don't have offers on my listings, big money mo. Well, um, they message you though. They still ask what yeah, was they the still message you. Yeah, yeah, like all my dunks, like dunks is like the worst. At least like one a day for the dunk. <laughs> Let's see. I block them like the Kembe. Uh, I message B at least two times a day. <laughs> my yeah, it's, he's the kind of guy to ignore. <laughs> Broadway B, how did you get your wives to help out with your business? Now, here's that's a good question. Let me answer that first. The only thing that my wife really helps on is the buying. <laughs> my wife's not gonna help out with sort with shipping and taking photos, that kind of stuff. Did she helps out when I tell her, "Hey, we got shoes to pick up today." Okay, and we go because that's your preference, though, right? Yeah, okay, true. Yeah, it's it's not like Glenn wants to have the wife help. And then the wife doesn't want to help. No, yeah. it's Glenn's preference. Glenn, Glenn's a Glenn's a a one. Is Glenn a Superman? <laughs> Glenn only you like Glenn only needs help whenever like there's a kryptonite in front of him ready. <laughs> yeah. And uh, B, how my did wife, you? My, okay, how did you like talk to her? Like, hey, this is what we're gonna do. This is what's well, going on. So, so it was me really going full time. She had a job, and then I feel like I think she, like she got jealous of like how my lifestyle, my lifestyle, my lifestyle was becoming. And this was during time when I was Ubering. I was Ubering mm -hmm. like twenty hours a week, and then I would hustle doing this. And then she's like, and then you know, it just changes our work, and she's like, no, oh, I really don't want it. You know, like it's like so toxic. The and then I just like she was complaining, and I just said, why don't you quit? And then she just stopped in her tracks. And then I, I think I told her like three or four times because I kept, I was so tired of her complaining about she hated her job. And I said, why don't you quit? And then, and then one day she had the guts to quit. And <laughs> she, quit. And she quit. And then, and I said, well, I, um, I asked her what she, what she wanted to do. She said she want to help and she want to do the uh, the ad uh, the organizing part because that's mm -hmm. what she loved doing uh, uh, because uh, she was a unit clerk uh, for a nurse station before so she loved like taking orders from doctors like like writing down you know prescript uh, what what needs to be done what needs to be ordered so she was good at that uh, and that's what she wanted she liked that part so so and she said you know she loves taking photos she wouldn't allow me to take photos. Mm. yeah so she 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 want that so so uh that's uh so that's how it started and then i and then now how it continues that's the other question how it continues them to work with my wife to work with me it's <laughs> like, well it's either you list all of this or i'm gonna find a lister and you go back to work and that's Man. how he put and that's how she continues to work with the business. <laughs> this guy is, B is brutal. B, B wants the results. I'm being honest. He wants the results. Let me see what the chat Dapper, says. Dapper said Glenn the control freak. <laughs> Glenn the control freak. My wife is the same. She will help shopping once in a while, but that's it. Says just fire deals. Brilliant dominance. Does your wife help you guys full time? Or do they have their own career? So B, answer that question for me. My wife does not work. Um, as long as the, like I said too though, here's the thing though. If the wife doesn't work, everything's gotta be spotless. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like this, well, the house is like, not gonna be a mess, none of that kind of stuff. So the like, wife does oh. very well on making sure, you know, dinner and make sure the, the kitchen's clean, things are, the dogs make a mess too. She's gonna, she has all that down. So. She has a full time. She has a full time gig too, which is, you know, a a a, what I would say, a mansion manager. <laughs> mansion, <laughs> mansion. <laughs> a mansion manager. <laughs> JC in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> JC in the chat. Yes. I love working for B. <laughs> yes. Uh, my wife actually was my secretary at the coffee shop that I had and also the car shop that I had. So mm -hmm. she knew how I operated. So she filled the gap. 
There we go. Uh, let me see. Jason gonna make B grab his own dinner for tonight. <laughs> B no, loves to cook. I, I, I my if I let my wife cook, we'd go hungry. God, this guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. That, yeah, like she's like, cause like there were times that she cooked, and she's like, "Do you like it?" And I just said, "Thank you. I'll cook next time." <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Uh, the, the funny thing is, so like, I I don't mind cooking. I like the cooking part. Dishes no. cannot do. <laughs> JC um, said, JC never let me do laundry because everything will be one load. <laughs> <laughs> Put everything in one. <laughs> Zapato says, JC, come to Miami. We can do shopping with our husband's cards. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, so this is probably a Zapata's, uh, uh, is this is the wife? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Let me see. My <laughs> Broadway... wife has now started helping sneaker draws. Baby <laughs> step. Oh, wow. That's ultimate baby steps. Come on, man. What's a press of a button? <laughs> <laughs> baby steps. Sneaker draw. Uh, let me go back up. Anybody else? Uh, husband and wife combo. Hey, Glenn, do you have uh, do you have a basement? That's what they ask. Oh, they have a basement. I do not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any basement past Chicago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I wish I had a basement. That'd be dope. Let me see. It's a women's turn tonight. Someone asked if we started off the live show of the wives doing the live show, and us being in the chat. Wow. What kind of questions would we would they get? <laughs> we should do that. Maybe uh maybe next what's next week? Hey, if the fines are so bad, forget the fines. <laughs> <laughs> forget the fines, just get QA. How does it feel making love to Mr. Hacks? <laughs> we get serious up in here. Like a vape, like a vapor ass. <laughs> <laughs> I have a basement in Colorado. Basements in El Paso have tunnels too. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah. Glenn doesn't have a basement. <laughs> tunnels. Uh, let me see. My wife. Oh, my mom looking to buy a house. Willing to trade my California home for somewhere Midwest, West, East Coast. Any recommendations? Brilliant dominance. Yo, I would. Out. Texas is good. Texas, Dallas, right, Glenn? We we like Dallas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, Atlanta is good, pretty big, pretty accessible. Um, I would say Florida is good, but but you know, wait till you're older to move down there. Tunnels from Mexico to Burlington. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Norel asks, how much do you reinvest and how much do you live off of for being full-time? Everything. Right well, here's now, a, go ahead, I, go ahead. I, I'm reinvesting everything in products after I pay my after I pay my bills and are extravagant going out to eat. <laughs> I guess that's how we get paid. We get probably two or three good meals at a restaurant. At a good restaurants a week. I think that's how we get paid. At least that's how my wife spends her part of the pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for sure. So I didn't reinvest everything at one point, and B yeah. was like, "Like, what are you doing? Like, we're what holding on to money for nothing." You want to so, get rich? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so everything is reinvested. The same thing. I I have the money that pays the bills. Everything else is being reinvested. So yeah, yeah. In this phase, really, like I'm looking at it, right? Like, I, like I think, like I would say, like one, one first year to third year is grind, and you have to be kind of like wild about reinvesting. Third, you know, anything third year to fifth year to tenth year, you got to be strategic. Where you want to, where, where you want to go, and where you want to put your money. At the same time, like I'm a big, I'm a big believer of you got to enjoy some. You know, you got to enjoy some of that. So that's why me and the wife have taken more vacations uh, within the last, what, I guess, year, you know, going to places. But it's a work vacation, right? Now you can travel more and then source more and stuff like that. Um, but 
but I think if you if you want to keep building, you got to keep reinvesting. It's that or you know taking out a loan. That's what all this you know giant businesses do. They leverage off of uh, you know debt to uh, expand. So um, you know we've you know we've we've been dabbling about what if you know we take on investors and stuff like that. But at this point, we're not ready for it yet. Let me see. Philly lead cut down to six. Lemon pepper Lou going off. Oh, <laughs> my bag. God. Lemon pepper Lou. <laughs> What's uh, up with the old guys? Like Uncle Green, Uncle Jeff Green just, you know, went yeah. off the other night. They're back. All right. Any uh, other questions? Anybody holding Jordan for golf? Resell freak. No. There's some pretty dope colors out there for the four. Yeah, gold. yeah. Like I was, you know, I was just talking to a few people at the outlets. Uh, you know, whenever they have returns, uh, they get really, uh, they get really excited about it. But it's just too much capital for, uh, for, for the ROI. I think the most it sold for was what I don't think it ever really went beyond five hundred. Mm. Uh, and then you know you're putting what two fifty. Yeah. And then it depends, and it's. From my experience, it's not really a fast moving unless it's very limited. Uh, Branton, fine. So you don't take out your part for salary? Nope. No salary, baby. And then tax time, which oh, I'm finally yeah. glad I got that thing over and done we're with. Really, we're really, oh, you're done with taxes? Yeah, finally. <laughs> yeah, we're, at the end of the day, if you think about it, man, I've, I've been broker now. I've been more broke now than I, when I was working. What's kind of funny though is that when your money is reinvested in a bunch of stuff and you're down to like, you know, <laughs> different capital you got to work with, you get that like feeling, re uh, energy to the way you got to hustle to bring things back. Yo, if you think about it, like I actually hustle more when when I have like when I have all my money invested in inventory. Yeah. When I'm sitting out more money, I make stupid mistakes. I start buying dumb crap. Yeah, a broke wearing three thousand dollar kicks about this. Uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, we resourced Houston. Yeah, uh, we, we did. did a couple of times, right? Yeah, Houston was great. Oh, Hawks take the lead. Minute twenty five left. Uh, do you shoe bots? No, no. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> so it's too expensive. The ROI. There's no ROI. And also, too, the funny thing is, if, even if other youtubers that are promoting it none of them actually you know disclose how much they actually make after paying all the servers and and ip addresses and all the other stuff nick are you followed as self-employed or llc <clears throat> are you i'm llc um sole proprietorship so we do yeah. two different things yeah it's it I, I guess it varies uh mostly really for uh your area B is a human bot. Oh, <laughs> uh, when is I the next like level I up going to start? When is Jake coming on, on the show? We're going to try to get Jake soon and see what okay. he's doing. Uh, when's the next level up? We're working on that to see what we're going to do. Um, it did take its toll because we had so many meetings and stuff, but I think we're going to try to figure something out so it is smoother. Yeah. And or it might be for Q4 prep already. Yeah. Something. So we'll work on we'll work on that. Um, no, we don't we don't uh, we don't tax exempt. We don't use tax exempt because it gets it gets really uh, stressful tracking and reporting taxes. Yeah, just do a bigger group. Says resell freak. Um, see, <laughs> Chase is holding on to Jake hostage. Uh, what do you think about cook groups? Says authentic reseller. Um. I don't, I guess, because I'm not really, I mean, I'm not in any of them, yeah. so I, I don't really think about any of them, but I'm just going to do what's working for me and just keep, keep working. Yeah. I don't, I don't know anything about, well, my cook group is my Twitter account. <laughs> That's my cook group. Uh, but yeah, it's, I, I can't, I can't speak about it because I'm not really involved in any cook groups. Uh, my cook group is B sending me. DM, hurry, sneakers app, and then, ah, wake up, ah, Kobe's are gone. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, because because here's the thing, like, I think at the end of the day, we we want to mostly do something that's more controllable. 
than just you know having to make a split decision and buying things too quick too fast and and you know it tanking when it gets to you oscar if you're in a cook group make sure it's like a family if not dip out like i'm all for um community. helping each other out yeah, and community. relationship things like that because there's a lot of people that are not going to understand where you're coming from especially being that transition from part-time to full-time where yeah. you're coming from the kind of things that you're going to be working with you know day-to-day -day basis and people yeah. that do have full-time jobs they're in a totally different thing you know we've all been there so right. i'm all for building that friendship relationship yeah i think it has a lot to do with relate uh being relatable to your situation right because if you tell me when i started right and then and then you're telling me to buy vapor max when my capital was low it could have really stunted my growth because mm -hmm. my capital wasn't have been there and instead of buying you know 10 soccer cleats now i'm able to buy one vapor max and profit is not the same right so it has to be very relatable and at the end of the day are this you know and this is what tell everybody in all right i think i guess we'll end in a note like this you got to find somebody that you want to be like if you're actually going to follow what they're doing and okay, that's one of the reasons why me and glenn we kind of consult each other more because there are things that i want to learn from him more and i want to do like what he did and vice versa so that's why we talk more a lot and you know you're you want to listen to a pilot if you want to learn how to fly you want to you don't want to listen to a captain when you want to learn how to fly so even in business if you want to make you know six figures you got to learn from somebody that's easily made six figures you don't mm -hmm. want to be learning from somebody that's barely making six figures if you want to make six figures you got to shoot for the stars that's what they say shoot for the stars dream well, i'm trying to find somebody that's making seven figures easily so i can learn from that guy so yeah. so it will elevate us you know that's why our you know we call our program level up because we want the people to level up from where they're at now if you come to me and you tell me you want to make seven figures i won't be able to be a really good help to you but if you tell me you want to make six figures hop on that's why we made that program because we've easily made six figures within the last few years so so that that's that's my advice uh find that person or find that program or that group and who you ever want to grow to and then join that and and you know that's why they said that uh, some people say it's a money grab because some people are making what not even making six figures and telling you join us you'll make you six figures that's not the way to do it you gotta, you I guess gotta yeah, go ahead. Well, we've seen them through through all time through yeah. YouTube and emails, and I still get like random emails from I don't know, just random stuff. Like, there's always like programs being sold and things being sold. I mean, um, you want to make six figures by AMC? That's probably what Jake did. That's why we don't see him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why we don't invest in crypto. That's why we don't tell you to invest in crypto because we haven't been rich with crypto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you are a full-time business reseller, how much should your yearly gross be? What, what is that? If you're a full-time business reseller, how much should your yearly gross be? Well, it's really net on how you net because there's, you know, high volume sellers that that gross a million and net a hundred. Yeah. You know, 10% profit. So our, our rule is usually 15% profit net. So if you want to make six figures, you better do two hundred at least two hundred thousand gross to make a hundred thousand. So, and that's kind of like for you know we've thought we've discussed this. That's being really smart with the items that you're buying, because that's kind of like the double up rule. You want to double up your money. If B stops taking your calls, Glenn, it's because he found his seven figure seller. What kind of relate? Well, for sure <laughs> it's actually hard to find a seven figure seller net <laughs> they're actually a more of a car corporation from what me and glenn mm -hmm. discovered uh with looking uh going to ebay open it's not one one person operation or like a small operation anymore more more of them are like companies already those are the uh those are the purple lanyards yeah the purple lanyards yeah they they do a million a year yeah yeah those are wild
Yeah, a, a lot of them have facilities to run. Yeah, yeah. but yet they're at eBay open. Yeah, because they're they're being sent by their boss. That's what <laughs> <laughs> they become managers. Because yeah. if you think about it too, if you scale that big, you know, some people actually have to take on investors to scale that big. True. Now you're now you're you know you have to answer to a board or to your investor. Yeah. You, you know you're not like hundred percent free to make this certain decisions in that company. Uh, let me see in the chat. Anything else you want to add in? Any questions before we go? Uh, we got ten seconds left. Hawks up by three. Man, Hawks are gonna take it. Uh, Satan finds goals. Big money mo resell freak. Um, it's a little bit over two hundred last year. Gonna work hard to get to the five hundred next year. Yeah, five. Yeah, five hundred is. 500 is comfortable. Let me see. Suns in four, a mile high. What's the level up program? Uh, we did a bi-weekly meetings and we keep track of the numbers and the money you're making. Um, and we different topics every other week. You can easily grow seven figures a year with a couple of workers. Big money mo. Mm -hmm. uh, Atlanta was down 26 and now they're up three. All right, we are done. Monday show. We'll see what we're gonna do there. Um, how often do you guys get bulk sellers? Mm, not a lot. Or bulk buy? How many? Bulk buy or bulk selling? Bulk buyers? Not a lot because our pricing are not really for wholesale. Bulk buying or 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 bulk buy says brilliant dominance. Yeah. Not really. I don't really get a ton of bulk buyers. I mean, no. um, whenever we had cleats, the massive cleats. Yeah. How often do you guys bulk buy? Oh, well, that's pretty much the goal weekly. Um, oh, how often do you bulk buy? Yeah, we bulk buy in outlets and, you know, certain connections that we've made. Um, and then, you know, within the week, pretty much kind of like, um, you know what Glenn does? He goes to uh, Ross to make video, so for YouTube. But the goal is really to buck buy because that's where you, because you know, in able to sell a lot more, you have to be able to buy a lot more. So it's it's when you have a higher uh, capitalization, it's really hard to spend it all on one and you know, the places that you usually go to. So that's why for Glenn's, uh, he's he's had buck connections. Uh, you know, the pre-order connections. And then we, I travel more to more stores to be able to spend that money. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, it, same thing with B. So like the Ross stuff, Ross Burlington and all that. I mean, like I said to you guys before, like that stuff pays the bills. Um, I could use that money and keep buying from like those stores. But the bulk stuff is like what helps grow the money on the back end. Because that stuff is really, we're going to see a lot of that, you know, growing more and more. Um let me see do you all sell locally or at sneaker events no not really it's just online yeah not really, yeah. not really the business plan yeah just online so all right monday show we'll work on that and see what our next topic is for uh, motivation monday any other questions you can uh talk to us then on monday and then we'll go from there anything else new b no, All right. Good. Well, don't don't buy Dookie. All right. See ya. Go and get it.